What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about X Defiant, which was a game that a lot of people were looking forward to when it was first announced, but after a lot of delays, I think, you know, it kind of fell off the radar, but then a lot of the hype built back up, and now that the game launched this week, there's tons of people playing it. Now a lot of people are considering it to be the Call of Duty killer. I don't even consider that really to be a thing. Call of Duty is so popular, it's always going to have a big player base, but X Defiant is a very enjoyable game that brings a little bit uh, of some things that are different to the table than Call of Duty would. Now, of course, there are some ex-Call of Duty developers you know, that are making this game, but they have combined a lot of their games, things like Splinter Cell, The Division, into this game to have some different factions, some different abilities, and also some familiar maps, which I do think are really, really good. Um, it's kind of that mix-up between Overwatch and Call of Duty. That's the feel you get. There's no, like, you know, big special abilities that are going to absolutely be overpowered but at the same time they can change kind of the tide of what's going on in the particular mode that you're playing so that you know the battle that's going on if you use your abilities correctly you can kind of change the way that outcome is going to be but at the same time you don't have to worry th about things like kill streaks so that's something that i think a lot of people may look forward to if you're not a fan of kill streaks in something like call of duty um the maps are great you know, you're getting maps from like i said the division uh, things like you would see in Ghost Recon, uh, even Far Cry, and I really do enjoy the maps. A lot of them are three-lane style maps, and they're really, really good. I think the maps look great, easy to see enemies. Visibility is you know something that's not an issue in this game whatsoever. I think the movement feels a bit clunky at times, but also if you're a fan of old school, old school Call of Duty games, the movement feels pretty crisp. Uh, you know something like very familiar. If you're a fan of just brand new new school COD games, the movement may feel a bit clunky for you particularly. But for me, I played a lot of old COD games, played COD since COD 4 was released, actually since COD 2 was released, so the movement and the gunplay feel perfectly fine to me overall. It's not a Call of Duty game, like I said, it does feel very similar. When you look at things like controls and, and you know how you can customize everything in your settings, at least on PS5, I know PC and Xbox will have you know a lot of the same things. PC, of course, will have more customization than we do here on new gen consoles but in general a lot of that feels like something you would see in call of duty a lot of the, the controls that you can use are what you would see in cod you know settings wise the game feels a lot like call of duty when you change things up so you can make your game feel and you know act like it would in cod which is a good thing i think for a lot of players now for some newer players there's a lot of things you can mess around with in the settings that may be different to you compared to other shooters if you've ever played anything uh, you know, like X Defiant. So if you were playing anything like Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, something like that, these may feel a little bit different. Uh, but those, everything in the game settings wise is kind of tailored to be like COD, and I think that's not bad at all. When it comes to sound, sound is great. You can hear enemy footsteps. There's no dead silence. Um, depending on how you're moving, if you're sprinting or not, you will make noise or you won't make noise. So it's easy to know, you know, gunfire and, and footsteps kind of good spatial awareness in this game you can kind of tell where enemies are coming from and that's something that i think a lot of people will be really happy to hear uh so far connection wise i've not really had any games that have been laggy or anything like that of course you can put up your ping in game it kind of puts you in that location of wherever you're connected in the world you can so you can kind of see where you're playing at i live in the central united states so you know most of my games are in central in the central u.s every once in a while i'll get a server that's on the east coast but nothing you know too far where i have a really high ping nothing ever above 30 for my my case anyway i know everyone's going to kind of vary on that um the gameplay like i said has been stable but i think the biggest thing that a lot of people are talking about is no skill-based matchmaking you know in the unranked mode now of course you get into ranked of course there's going to be skill-based matchmaking and i'm fine with that that has always been the complaint in cod that skill-based matchmaking should not be in just regular game modes only in ranked and this game feels very good not having to worry about, you know, bad connections from skill-based matchmaking lobbies, having to play, you know, sweaty players game after game after game. Some people may want to just get on and relax. But my biggest issue with skill-based matchmaking has always been connection in Call of Duty because, as you know, it's not ping is king like they would say it is. They always say ping is king with, uh, you know, skill-based matchmaking. That is not how it works in Call of Duty. That is my always always has been my biggest gripe with skill based matchmaking is if the connections were better I probably would not mind it as much but with bad connections unfortunately 
uh, that that was not the case in COD, and they've never been able to really fix that. This game not having skill based matchmaking whatsoever in your regular uh, in your regular unranked modes is really enjoyable. Um, when you look at things like the store prices of skins, battle passes, things like that, not really outrageous compared to some games. Um, pretty reasonable. Most things are you know seven to fifteen dollars, things like that. So kind of what you would expect from a shooter. Not quite as expensive as some of the premium skins you would see in other games. Uh, but, of course, that may come later down the road. Uh, overall, uh, the game is really, really enjoyable. And there also is map boating, in case any of you were wondering about that. Uh, a good selection of game modes. You have things that are similar to Domination, uh, kind of Payload and Overwatch. There's just a game mode similar to that. Things like Kill Confirmed, um, Hardpoint. All the game modes are going to feel very similar. Uh, are familiar uh, to what you've played in the past if you've played any of those kind of games like COD or Overwatch. But at the same time, having the different abilities in game makes it feel more than just a Call of Duty game. Like I said, it's that mix up between Overwatch and COD, and I think it is very, very good. Um, I think a lot of you out there, especially to be a free game, will probably enjoy this. Now, like I said, if you're a new school COD player, used to that new school you know, sliding around the map, snaking and that kind of stuff. It may feel a bit clunky, but for me being an old school COD vet and just an old person in general, um, I really do enjoy it. Uh, will it end up, you know, beating out COD? Like I said, I don't think that's ever really going to happen with anything in the near future. My only concern is, will it end up like the finals? The finals was a very enjoyable shooter as well. Something that was different, but at the same time, the finals kind of died off. I think the similarities to COD and Overwatch will keep this game a bit more popular, a bit more relevant, a little bit longer, but it's mainly going to be up to the developers continuing to support the game and giving us more for it going forward. I'll kind of have to wait and see and kind of hold my thoughts about that until a later date. But leave me a comment with your thoughts on X Defiant. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.